so today we're just going to do another kind of proof, which is proving triangles are similar. So we're told that AC is congruent to AT, OD is congruent to OG, and AC is parallel to OD. So we'll just copy our given. Okay, and that's the given. So the first thing we can do is since these two lines are parallel, we can get this angle congruent to this angle. Because remember, if two lines are parallel, corresponding angles are congruent. So, angle C, I'm just going to use one letter just because we're going to be doing a lot of work with angles and it'll get confusing to name it with three every time. So angle C is congruent to angle D. So our reason is that if lines parallel, corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, so the next thing we can do is get this angle congruent to this angle because remember if two if two angle if two sides are congruent then their opposite angles are congruent and i can get this angle congruent to this angle so angle C is congruent to angle D oh no sorry angle C is congruent to angle T angle D is congruent to angle G oh that's actually just one step so if sides, if congruent sides, opposite angles are also congruent. Okay, so now if you look, we have a bunch of equations. And we can, okay, so now we have to do a really, um, a really convoluted substitution and it'll take a little bit to understand because we're substituting a lot of different things in at once. Okay, so if you look we know that this angle is congruent to this angle. Since this angle and and since D is congruent to G that means angle C is congruent to angle G because angle C is congruent to angle D and if D is also congruent to angle G that means that angle C, angle D, and angle G all have congruent measures or equal measures so they're all congruent so I can get C congruent to angle G by substitution and, that, and I also know that angle C is c congruent to angle T. So then I can say that angle T is congruent to angle G. I know it, it's really convoluted and doesn't make much sense, but it's completely mathematical, or it's completely legal, I guess, to do. So we're just going to put as a reason substitution. Okay. 
and that's actually oh nope that's not our last set, step our last step we were to prove that CAT is similar to DOG so if you remember to prove triangles are similar we only we only need two angles that are congruent so we have T is congruent to angle G so this angle is congruent to this angle and C is congruent to D so this one is congruent to this one so we have enough to say therefore triangle CAT is similar to triangle DOG by angle angle and that's our only proof we're gonna do today but make sure you come back um, and we're going to learn how to solve the sides of any triangle.